from Mexico's Riviera Maya. This is On the Red Carpet at the Portino Awards. Hello, we are on the red carpet at the 2019 Premios Platino. Once again this year, the Platino Awards are being held along the beautiful Riviera Maya in Mexico. Stars from all over Central America, Spain and Portugal are here to celebrate the best of Latin language film and television. We don't have an Oscar uh, awards show. We need it. So Platino Awards is kind of uh, what we're trying to do here. We're hanging out with some of your favorite Latin celebrities. Are the Platinos like the Oscars? No, the Oscars are like the Platinos, darling. <laughs> and we're also exploring this lush, tropical part of the world with them. You ready? Let's do yes. it. Let's go, let's go, all right. Eric Winter and Alyssa Diaz, stars from ABC's The Rookie, go ziplining over the Mexican jungles. Plus, we're taking you off-roading, whitewater rafting, cave exploring, and adventures galore. We will get to that and so much more. But first, a quick look at who took home the top prize here at the Premios Platino. The night was a celebration of Latin entertainment. Hosted by Spanish actor Santiago Segura and House of Flowers star Cecilia Suarez. Buenas noches, Santiago. We caught up with them before taking the stage. When I was little, I, I saw Johnny Carson hosting the Oscars, and I said, when I grew up, I want to do that. If you're able to give yourself an A+, plus at the end of the oh night. Oh my God, you're just trying to make me nervous, huh? <laughs> I see. It will be fun for people who are watching at home, and I think that's the bottom line. The big winner of the night? Alfonso Cuarón por Roma. Roma took home Best Director, Cinematography, Screenplay, Sound, and Best Film. What does it mean for you to take the Premios Platino? Sí, sí, haber ganado el Oscar a Mejor Película Extranjera es una cosa, pero ahora qué sería ganar esta vez los premios platino aquí, si sí, sucediera. Wow. <laughs> pues otra alegría inmensa para todo el equipo y todo el esfuerzo que se hizo. Another big joy for the whole team, and I will join with her in that. I mean, it's, it's, Roma's given us so many, so many presents, and, and we, keep, we keep receiving things, so we're really happy. We'll have more with Marina and Yalitza coming up. El Premio Platino es... The night's best actress, Anna Brun, and best actor, Antonio De La Torre. The Premios de Honor was awarded to Spanish icon, Rafael. <laughs> best series or miniseries, Arde Madrid. Best actor from a series, Diego Luna for Narcos Mexico. And best actress in a series, Cecilia Suarez. Season two. It's coming. It's uh, it's a lot more daring this this time. It's a lot more wild this time. So you can expect a lot of fun with season two. This year's nominees were announced back in Hollywood by Carla Souza and Luis Gerardo Mendez. Of course, you know Carla for her role as Laurel on ABC's How to Get Away with Murder. Luis is a huge star here in Mexico, and you'll see him soon in the US. I just did a film uh, with Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler last year, and it was because I met Rob Schneider in these awards. He will also appear in the upcoming Charlie's Angels movie. Both Carla and Luis know the importance of the Platino Awards. Basically, it is the biggest award show so let's call it the version, the Oscar version for Latin America. But guess what? It don't, doesn't have, you know, the foreign, it's not just the foreign language. The foreign language is the language. Everyone in Mexico watches Mexican cinema, but we want to know more about Spanish cinema. We can start to uh, efface these borders of even our, you know, Latin American countries so that the voice can become one and we can really start to have this diversity in, in voices. One of the biggest advocates of the Premios Platinos, Edward James Olmos. Uh, this event has now become truly the stable mark of uh, the best of the best in, of Iberoamerica, Spanish-speaking film throughout the world, both on television and motion pictures. And uh, to me, it's been a long time coming to give presence, world-class presence, to uh, films that are made in different cultures, especially the Latino cultures. The people here at the Premier, we know how to party, right? At the Premier's Platino. This is really a three day event with a party every night, and each night more star studded than the next. You're partying with people holding drinks and people holding trophies. 
everyone at the Premios Platinos likes to have a good time. I think we're just passionate people, honestly. I think we, uh, we're very passionate and, and loving and uh, eating and everything and cussing and all kinds of stuff. That, that's, where the, that's, that's where it's happening. Man. One of the best events, a party hosted by Hoya by Cirque du Soleil. You could do most of that, right? Of course. With my eyes closed, it's yeah. so easy. Yeah. No, honestly, it's, it's overwhelming, breathtaking. I can't do that. Yo, what, do you, what do you make <laughs> I think of tonight's it's, performance? It's, it's unbelievable. And when the party stopped, the adventures began. First stop, explore. With Eric Winter and Alyssa Diaz, stars of ABC's The Rookie. Okay, we are about to embark on 14 zip lines. I'm terrified of heights. How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling excited. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. With 2.4 miles of zip lines and a top height of 150 feet, Eric, Alyssa, and her boyfriend, Grammy nominated singer Gustavo Galindo, got a bird's eye view of the Riviera Maya. And what better way to finish than a refreshing splashdown? What'd you guys think? I loved it. Yeah, the water, the water part was amazing. <laughs> Dude, did you, were, you, were you scared at all? Only on the tallest one I got freaked out because it was like angled down. I'm just like, mm. We are going now from above the ground to below the ground into the underground caves. You ready for this? Let's do it. Let's go! And while it became very clear quite quickly that none of us would win a race, it did afford us some time to admire the natural beauty of the caves. It was tough. We had to good. work out our arms a lot to go through the cave. It, it was really good. It was a couple's uh, therapy, <laughs> so for sure. But we had a great time. This is like an amazing place to be inside the caves and wander around. From rafts in underground caves to a raft on white water. Welcome to Savage. This is the newest part from Experiences Credit. On class three rapids through this man-made course. You were good, yeah, actually. We did it very well. Nobody fall <laughs> into the water, which I believe that's, that's, a, that's a big... Yes. Next on my adventure, Puma. We have four lanes with 15 off-road uh, obstacles. A custom-built rock crawler, which tested my driving ability and left my passenger boat shaken and stirred. <laughs> it was amazing. It was amazing. I think he was, he was driving really fast, really good. Well, that's what we're looking for. Oh, good God. And as if I hadn't put my fear of heights through enough with the zip lining, there was also an intense rope course, which had me 118 feet above the ground. My gosh, that is probably the most terrifying thing I've ever done. The rookie star, Eric Winter, is married to Rosalind Sanchez. She couldn't come ziplining with us because of her busy interview schedule. You know, we came here for a honeymoon 10 years ago. Right. We stayed at the Riviera Maya for two weeks and we went to Cenotes together. And I can't believe he's doing it again, not with his wife, but with you. When we finally caught up with her, we had a lot to talk about. I left Puerto Rico when I was 20, 21 years old. I went to New York to study. When I moved to New York, I'm going to be Salma Hayek within five, five months. No, <laughs> it's been 25 years later. <laughs> she stars in a new series on ABC called Grand Hotel. I know everyone is upset, but you're making an awful scene. I am so excited, guys. You have no idea. In Miami, just delicious and full of secrets. And it's just a wonderful summer treat to be able to have a Latino family as a center that is a highly educated Latino family. It's wonderful. The show is a guilty pleasure, and we can't wait. Her co-star, Shaleem Ortiz, agrees. Grand Hotel is... Uh, an upstairs downstairs drama that is going to be packed with mystery, crime, sexy, you know, Miami Beach, you know, present time. You guys have, don't know what ride you're, you know, it's, it's coming your way. Speaking about not knowing what's coming your way, here's what happened when I interviewed William Levy. What have you been, what have you gotten up to here? Oh, dinner, you know, pretty much. I haven't been partying like you, but... Party like me? <laughs> what are you? Do you have a red carpet ready? Ritual, how do you stay cool, calm, and collected when it's a million degrees and sweaty? I can't say what I do. <laughs> Why? No, now I want to know. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Still ahead on the red carpet at the Platino Awards. More with the stars of Roma. Con la felicidad que tenemos de estar aquí, creo. That's a good answer. Plus, we're taking a look at the red carpet fashion. But first, Carl gets a quick Spanish lesson. You have to learn one, just the most important one, huh? Okay, yes, the one. Teach it to me and then tell me what I'm saying. Donde, donde está, está el baño. El baño. Donde está el baño. What am I saying? 
Where is the bathroom? <laughs> Follow On the Red Carpet on social media. We're at On the Red Carpet on Facebook and Twitter and at OTRC on Instagram. Welcome back to On the Red Carpet at the 2019 Premios Platino. We will do more exploring in a moment, but first, the two most popular women on the red carpet. Roma stars Yalitza Aparicio and Marina de Tavira have had a whirlwind year. What started at the Venice Film Festival turned into a non-stop promotional tour. I first met them at a brunch before the movie's Oscar nomination. Now we're here, really, really happy to, to keep seeing each other. This is like a, a reunion. What does it mean for both of you to have Mexican cinema being so well received and showcased uh, and doing so well around, not just in America, but around the world? Pues es maravilloso estar en nuestra tierra con nuestra gente y cómo que se siente este calorcito aparte del lugar, claro, pero se siente el calor de la gente. It's, uh, she says it's really, really wonderful to be with our people and uh, it feels really warm, but I mean, warm in our hearts, but also in the weather. <laughs> Since I speak no Spanish, I'm asking all the Platino stars for quick Spanish lessons. I know one. Okay. Estamos solas. No importa lo que te digan, oh, siempre so, estamos solas. Well, how am I meant to learn that so fast? <laughs> what does that mean? We're alone. We women are always alone. No matter what they tell you, we're always alone. And as they leave me alone on the red carpet, let's talk about Mexican directors. Did you know that a Mexican-born director has won the Best Director Oscar five out of the past six years? With more, here's George Panacchio. Alfonso Cuaron por Roma. The Best Director Platino Award for Alfonso Cuaron's Roma was no surprise. The Mexican city-born Cuaron won in the same category earlier this year at the Academy Awards. So I'm thrilled that this is happening, most importantly, uh, that audiences around the world and the Academy are embracing a character who's a domestic worker from an indigenous background. I remember talking with Cuaron five years earlier on the red carpet just before he won his first Best Director Oscar for Gravity. Alfonso Cuaron, who's won everything and probably is going to take home that Oscar tonight for Best Director for Gravity. In 2015 and 2016, Alejandro G. Inuritu, also born in Mexico City, won back-to-back -back Best Director Oscars for Birdman and The Revenant. And back at the Oscars in 2017, Inurito told me about the importance of thinking differently. If you understand the other, then you can love him. If you don't understand it, you can't love it. The next year, Guadalajara-born Guillermo del Toro won Best Director for The Shape of Water. I think that every time we can demonstrate in any forum, be it sports, science, arts, culture, anywhere, uh, what we have to bring to the world discourse, to the world conversation, is extremely important, and it's extremely important when we do it to remember where we're from. Alejandro, Guillermo, and Alfonso are affectionately known here in Hollywood as the Three Amigos. And now back to Mi Amigo Carl in Mexico. Thanks, George. Mi Amiga Daniela Vega is back this year. For me, it's very important to come back every year. Jillian Born Vega picked up the Platino last year for her role in the film, A Fantastic Woman. The last year, um, they give me the, the, the prize, you know. This time I have to give the prize to the new one, so for me it's very interesting to do. If you could play any character in any genre, oh what would it be? A horror movie. Yes! <laughs> are heating up on the red carpet at the Platino Awards. How do you stay so cool and residue free on the carpet? Well, you, you, you've been here a little longer than I have. But first, another quick Spanish lesson. What's the one thing I should know in Spanish? Llévame, llévame, llévame a la cárcel, el, a la cárcel, más cercana, más cercana. No, it's dangerous. It Jail. says, take me to the closest jail. That's when you're having too much of a good time and you feel like it's time to get locked up. Take me to the closest He's jail. He's a bad friend. <laughs> eres, eres una, una hermosa, hermosa mamacita. Mamacita. I feel like I know where this is going. Yeah, One yeah, more time. Definitely. Whether you're heading to a red carpet, the airport, or just the grocery store, arrive in style in the all-new, bold, sophisticated Chevy Blazer. As you might be able to tell, the red carpet here in Mexico is a hot, steaming, slightly sticky event. 
It's also an international carpet. With stars from over 20 countries being represented at the awards, no wonder the carpet was hot, hot, hot. How do you guys keep cool on a carpet like this? Because I'm schwitzing. I, I, I can't believe I'm standing up with all this in, over me. It's all about thinking it's cold. Exactly. No amount of thinking it was cold was cooling me down. So, off came the jacket. You look fantastic, and not a drop of sweat, which is, I've had to start taking clothes off. He has a fan over here. That's which is brilliant. That's brilliant. I really want We'll be sweating soon. Professional fan over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got our fan on. He's your personal fan? Or yes. Your personal fan, a big fan. We are all big fans. You have no idea how hot it is in here. I it's think insane. you do. You sort of look at say This guy's I'm... sweating, but and yeah, no, I'm dying. How do you stay so cool and residue free on the Well, you, you, you've you been here a little longer than I have, so I just got here. So I have a feeling that in about 15 minutes I'm going to catch up to you, and I don't have that little fan, and I'm, I'm a little jelly. Con la felicidad que tenemos de estar aquí, creo. That's a good answer. With the joy we're feeling to be together again. It's a little bit intense here. The lighting has overtaken the air conditioning that was not here anyway. This weather is like... It's a bit silly, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. And of course, you cannot be on a red carpet like this and not talk fashion. Ooh, Carl, the red carpet at the Platino Awards looks hot and steamy. Now, the stars had to dress to impress, but also stay cool. Roma stars Marina and Yalitza were a vision of easy elegance. Both wore black with delicate jewels to enhance the look. Alejandra Espinosa sizzled in an ultra sexy gown with strategic cutout and hip high slit. Singer Lali Esposito also wore black, but when it was time to perform, bam, she strutted her stuff in this jeweled corseted bodysuit. And singer Sofia Reyes walked the carpet in a relaxed pant ensemble, but took the stage in neon. Now check out Juana Viale making a statement in this see-through architectural gown. Michelle Salas was fresh and feminine and floral, while Marta Igarera was on trend in this lavender shredded tulle ball gown. Both Carmen Luga and Maribel Verdu shimmered in sequins, and Juanita Arias got her sexy on in this semi-sheer number. Platino host Cecilia Suarez kept it simple in stripes on the red carpet and in the broadcast, but in a different hue. However, her co-host Santiago Segura went for it. He wore blue on the carpet, but then changed three times during the show. Now my favorite of the night, Rosalind Sanchez, modern and chic in a strapless gown inspired by Spanish culture with pulled back hair and tassel earrings, perfecto. Now looking that good can be hard work, but let me just tell you something. Getting red carpet ready here at Hotel Escaret, Mexico, it's kind of like a vacation. All work and no fun is, well, no fun. So I made the most of all the luxuries. First, a healthy breakfast at a restaurant hidden in a series of caves on the beach. Then it was time to get my pump on with a workout in a state-of-the-art gym that literally feels like you're working out in the jungle, followed by a massage at the spa. Relax and body, relax and mind, relax is beating which included a post-massage soak in my own private cenote. Muchas gracias. It's my pleasure. Well, I'm red carpet ready. Cheers. Coming up, go zip lining through fire. Woo! But first, Carl gets one more Spanish lesson. Te quiero invitar. Te, uh, 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 Te quiero invitar. Te quiero invitar. A cenar. A cenar. Yeah. What, what when you this? meet a beautiful girl, when you're out and about in Riviera Maya, and you meet a girl. I don't know if you're married. No, I'd, I'd meet a boy, but that's okay. okay when you Does meet, it work for the boy, boy too? Well, okay. 100%, when All you right. meet your boy, okay. your hot Latino yeah. boy, you go, I want to take you to dinner. Now, Mwah. let me tell you, ask you. Yes. What did I teach you? Donde esta la... El, el, el baño. El baño. Yeah, I thought about that one. I thought about that one. <laughs> While the Premios Platinos may only be six years old, they've already earned the reputation of being world class. I've been fortunate enough to be there for the last four years, during which time I've learned how to flamenco dance with Orange is the New Black's Jackie Cruz in Madrid. Could it be, Jackie Cruz, that one of your <laughs> dreams 
is to flamenco dance. Oh yeah. Could it be that one of your dreams is to flamenco dance with perhaps me? Yeah. Discovered the secrets of cooking paella at the Palace Hotel with Edward James Olmos. Muchas gracias for having us in your kitchen. Muchísimas gracias, de veras. And tasted tapas with Patricia Maya and Monica Huarte. I've even had a go at making Mayan chocolate by hand in the Mayan jungles. Ronaldo, you've joined us at the Platino Awards. We've you got me drunk. I got you drunk in Madrid. Salud, amigo. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. I made you swim with sharks. You <laughs> which was traumatizing. Now we're going to drive in these four-wheel drives because we're going to go ziplining through fire. Yes. And what better way to get us to the highest zipline tower than by one of their amphibious vehicles through the Mayan jungle. And once we got to the top, it was time for Reynaldo to harness up and get ready to take the plunge. This is literally the least thing I would do. But do it he did, finishing his wild ride through a ring of fire. This is Heights. So I gotta admit that I got a little scary at the beginning, scary at the beginning but, but I'm alive. While we were driving, you were taking photos, and I said, don't drive and text and take photos. And then as we were climbing up the top of the tower, the zip line, you got a phone call. My, my, my mom was like freaking out. She thought I was gonna die, but. <laughs> because you were posting as we were doing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lesson learned. I'm waiting to post after. I think that's the that's best. That's a good idea. Thank you for being willing to do the daring. risk my life. <laughs> Hey, that's going to do it for this special edition of On the Red Carpet from Mexico. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Red Carpet.